Today we're going to demonstrate why a cheap UPS, also known as a battery backup, can actually cause more harm than good when power fails for your sensitive instrument, computer, TV, or anything else you're trying to back up. Right? What I have here is a cheap, uh, no-name brand battery backup UPS unit from a department store or uh, you know electronic store. And behind it, I have a battery backup power branded pure sine wave high-end UPS. And today we're going to show what actually happens when power fails on both units. So here, you see on my scope meter, I have a straight line because no power is applied. As soon as I apply power from the cheap UPS, I'm going to get a pure sine wave. See that, that pure sine wave? That's good, and the reason that you're getting that right now is because the cheap UPS or battery backup is only bypassing power from the utility. Let's simulate a power failure and show you what that looks like. Now that does not look like anything that we saw before. That is what we call a square wave or simulated sine wave output. Now if you have sensitive electronics, you're possibly damaging your sensitive electronics by feeding this poor quality power into it. Now let's simulate what happens when power is restored. It's going to take a second to detect utility power. There, we're back on utility power. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing on a high-end UPS. There we go, wait for the detection, no power. So we'll go ahead and go to a battery backup power high-end UPS. There we go, we have utility power. You can see it's a nice clean pure sine wave. And I'm going to go ahead and simulate a power failure. Absolutely no change whatsoever on battery power. I'm going to go ahead and restore power. absolutely no change whatsoever. A pure clean sine wave coming out of the high-end battery backup power unit. Now this is why these units are used by NASA, um, high-end college institutions, uh, laboratories, uh, commercial applications, because you absolutely have no disruption or change in the sine wave or the power going to the instrument you're trying to protect. If you try to put a you know, mass spectrometer or high-end computer on something like this cheapo unit, you can see why it would damage it. And you can also see why you might get a small unit like this, and it'll work fine until there's actually a power outage, is because this unit actually doesn't do anything until power fails. So the cheap UPS or battery backup systems actually bypass power completely to the utility power until there's a power failure, and they put up substandard power, which you just saw right here demonstrated on this scope meter. Thanks for watching. Talk.